Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News, episode 86. So, welcome back, guys. Um, today's episode, guys, I'm going to show you how to advertise the package. This is actually part 10 of my SCCM 2007 series. Now, the last two episodes, I showed you how to create the package as well as the program. So, once the software distribution package has been created, along with the program to tell the client computers what to do with the package, uh, you actually need to advertise the program that you want the clients to run. Right? Advertising the program makes the program available to specific lo collections on your client. So if you guys have a bunch of collections um, created and you want to push out uh, this package, you actually can point it to that collection and it will push out to only those guys. So uh, that's how I'm going to show you guys. So real easy, write in advertisements. You can click on advertisements. I already created an advertisement for Firefox because I was testing stuff out and again this is my lab and you gotta test stuff out so you can right click click on new and advertisement now let me cancel this and I wanna go over some stuff with you guys now best practice is um, create folders a lot of people would just have this advertisement um, route and have all the advertisements here this is not the way I would normally do it or implement it in my job. I would actually create folders and have everything named orderly. Like my package is pretty sloppy. I, I, I should have right clicked on it, go to new, create a folder, and just have a folder for Firefox. So have a folder for Mozilla, have a, fo for, uh, have a folder for Adobe, have a folder for Microsoft, and just have everything nice and organized. Again, I'm just showing you guys how to do it. So. This is, this is a best practice to keep eye on. So, back to creating the advertisement. So, click on the advertisement node, right click on it, go to new advertisement, you get a wizard. And within the wizard, uh, you fill out all the all the information. So, it's notepad++. Plus plus. Uh, give it a comment. I'm going to like, this is an advertisement. Hopefully I spell it right. Advertisement for no pad plus plus 6.16 I think that's the version for BJ Tech News yeah now click on browse it gives you all the packages that you created I want that one click OK that's the program automatically it's already filled in awesome now you gotta pick it you gotta pick what collection you want it to be deployed I'm gonna do all my systems press OK Include members of the sub collections in case you have a collection within a collection, it will hit it too. Press next. Now, once you press next, you get this nice little dialog box, and the dialog box basically says the package specified for the advertisement contains source files, but no distribution points are specified for the package. If you create this advertisement, clients will receive the advertisement but will be unable to run the advertisement because the, the package has not been copied to any distribution points. Are you sure you want to create the advertisement? That is a yes. I think on the next episode, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, push everything to the distribution point so that stuff can start working properly. Now, from here, you guys want to. This is basically your schedule. So, what I want to do is I'm going to click on this. I want to assign immediately after this event, and I want to do it as soon as possible. Okay, so I want this to be pushed out as soon as possible. Press OK. Uh, priority I'm gonna make it as high okay uh, you can actually schedule it I'm gonna actually let's schedule this 3:30 because right now it's like 3:23 my time um, no no I'm gonna leave this as is and rerun it fell previous attempt yep leave that hit next uh, so what a client and when a client isn't connected with the fast LAN network boundary download the content yep leave that as is when a client is connected within a slow and run it yep so I do want to run it but I want to download the content for the distribution point and run it locally okay that's always my safe net in, in case the network is a little slow uh, leave this default next any interaction now this is up to you guys um, interaction basically gives you, you know, specifies the settings and affect how users are notified about the interaction. So if your people, if you have users on the floor that are working, and you want to give them notice and say, hey, you know, in five minutes or in ten minutes, 
uh, something's going to be pushed out. Okay, now you got to be got to take in consideration now if you're pushing out a software that needs to be restarted, uh, I will shoot an email to my users and let them know. Or uh, there there should be a, a custom way that you're able to push out and tell people how um, that hey make sure it's a restart coming up or something. Okay, uh, hit next. Securities leave as is. Hit next. A nice little summary. Hit next. And that's it. All green check marks. Close it. And your advertisement is done. Okay. Double click on advertisement. You can actually go in, change the schedule, do distribution point, change the options, but we don't need that. Interactions, you go always change it. Security, we leave it as is. And that's about it, guys. Uh, I think the last episode that I'm going to show you guys is how to create and update the distribution point, which is part 11 of this series. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video at the very bottom of this video there is a comment section that you guys can leave some comments uh, I would take bad I would take bad comments and good comments you know that will just make me uh, a stronger person as well as if you enjoy this video hey give me some thumbs up as well at the very top there's a subscribe button please hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel if you want to get the latest and greatest tips and reviews on hardware and software and also don't forget gaming thank you guys catch you guys later <laughs>